Hi, I'm Bubba Tim. I'm a barbecue guy. I'm not a baker. I'm going to try to make some no-knead bread. I have failed miserably and now I'm going to document it. More to come. Well, been in there 25 minutes and not seeing any brownage. That's not a good sign. The cast iron ones, I got a little bit of tinge of brown. But the baguette, not looking good. We'll see. All right. More to come. Okie doke. The bread's been cooling for a couple of hours. It's got a little crunch to it. Oh my god. It is dense. <laughs> I don't even know if it's ever edible. Nope. It's doughy. So two things have actually happened here. First off, I do believe, even though the recipe said 425, America's Test Kitchen said 500, and I agree with them. I think some uh, cornmeal would help this, but oh my god, this must weigh 20 pounds. Ridiculous. All right, that's in the trash. <laughs> I suspect, oh, it's got a nice crunch to it. Nope. Alright. Let's see what this monstrosity looks like. I have very little hope. Smells oh, good. Nope. It's a hockey puck. That is a hockey puck. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks delicious. It looks perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Bubba's so happy. <laughs> Look at that. Is that beautiful? That is so beautiful. I am so, so happy. Kind of ugly, <laughs> but they look all right. Need me cut deeper. Uh, 208 degrees probably needs to be 210, but we'll see what happens. We'll continue to cook. Uh, this one blew out, but this one blew out a little bit too. But I think it'll be good for sandwiches. I'll see. Well, it's been a fun journey, most of the time, <laughs> with the bread. 
Uh, the baguettes turned out great. I uh, actually wrapped one up and saved it for later. I uh, ate one up, made uh, sandwiches for sandwiches for lunch, and uh, it was actually pretty good. It had a nice crust to it, chewy. So that was a success. We're going to try again, and this time we'll go from start to finish, and we'll clean this uh, video editing up. More to come.